I just got done with work and I'm about to go on a run. Um, my parents have like a little gym under in like the other part of the basement. And I usually try and run like for like 45 minutes every day. <laughs> Running is like super easy for me. By all means, I'm not really good at any other type of working out, but I can run for, I don't know. I just like running. Anyways, so I'm gonna go and do that. I'm trying to do the 75 hard challenge. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. It's kind of like gone trendy through like the Pinterest it girl thing, which that whole trend kind of makes me want to roll my eyes because I don't know. I've seen like the damage that it can cause. Um, obviously being healthy and like wellness is like such a good thing to be trending, but I see a lot of harm with certain challenges that, like this that come and go. But anyways, I'm trying to do it, but in like my version. So drinking a gallon of water, doing two 45 minute workouts, and then like following a diet. But like the diet that I'm following is kind of mainly just like trying to cut sugar. I'm not being like very strict with it at all. I don't know, with someone that has dealt with like eating disorders and a history of like bad habits when it comes to like eating and excessive working out, it's just not smart for me to do like the full 75 hard challenge. So I'm doing the best that I can with the circumstances, if that makes sense. So yeah. And also it's like way too cold outside still in Utah to do one of the workouts outside. I just really don't want to do that. So I'm doing like the 75 medium, we'll call it that. a gallon is like almost three of these it's like two and two thirds or something like that still a lot more water than i'm used to i literally always forget to drink water though so i like already feel better and more hydrated but later i'm gonna meet andrew at the climbing gym so i'm trying to decide if i want to like actually wash my hair in the shower or just rinse off my body i think i might just wash my hair because it's been a while. <laughs> Fit in there a little better, I don't know. Oh, your leg does fit a little better. There you go. One point for Sarah. Oh. 
take two. Yellow take climb. Two. You have one point because you got farther on the white one than me, but I got one point from the yellow. Yeah. One to one. Well, you did the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> Go find a new climb. Good try. By oh. the looks of the video, you would assume that we are terrible climbers. We are. And you're right. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the bat. Well done, well done. You just put your foot on the little volume and just stand up on it. Yeah. Oh, did you do a running start? Oh. You had one opportunity. Sees everything you ever want. I think you just have to trust it and I think you can trust it and go up with both hands. It's really easy to hold on to. Or you could do it that way too maybe. You got it, come on. Yes, nice. Now keep your right foot kind of on the corner of the wall so, it, so you don't swing out. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Hell yeah. Nice job. Hey guys. It's been a week. I'm clearly really good at this whole vlogging thing. I just got off of work and I was thinking about like this video that I'm making and like all the components that I want to include into it and I wanted like this video to be about getting my life together and everything and obviously I've been talking about like working out and like eating healthy and all of that sort of thing but I feel like a big part of this is mental health and this is something that I'm like really passionate about as everyone should be just wanted to talk a little bit about like what I'm doing to like better my mental health 
basically I uh, have been to therapy in a very long time um, over the past like few months or so I've been really struggling with just like anxiety and just overall like mood and daily life abilities I don't know it's hard to do the little things especially when I'm really motivated to exercise and make time for myself and I always hear people say like there's 24 hours in a day like you can always make time for things like 30 minutes to go to the gym every day and that's only 30 minutes out of your 24 hour day but like minus eight hours of a good sleep schedule minus eight hours of work that's already 16 hours of your 24 hour day so like really you don't have that much time yesterday actually i started getting an anxiety attack coming on and i can tell when an anxiety attack is coming on because i start getting like this rash my face gets really red and heated like in a lot of different scenarios and situations because that's just the way that I am like specifically I'll start getting like hives so like yesterday on like this side of my cheek and like my chest I started getting like huge like rashy hives and I was like oh no <laughs> so I had to like go home early from work it was super red and like there were like bumps of hives everywhere and I just literally had to like force myself to just like take a nap like recharge myself and just like lay down and try and breathe because that's like the best thing that helps me but anyways that's been happening to me and I just feel like it's been hard to like do the everyday things like I'm doing really good at like making sure I make time to like eat healthy meals and eating enough and going to the gym and stuff because like I literally have an app on my phone that like tells me to do that stuff and so it's easy to follow it but when it's up to me to like take a shower, brush my teeth, like literal like easy everyday things are like very difficult for me. I don't even know why. Like I'll just sit there and like I'll work all week and then finally a Saturday comes and I'm like so stoked because it's a Saturday and I can do whatever I want. But then I literally lay in bed till like 3 p.m. and like cry because I'm like mentally... Physically, I want to get out of bed so bad, like, all I want to do is hang out with my friends and do all the things that I've been wanting to do all week but don't have the time to do. But, like, I mentally literally can't get myself out of bed. So, don't know what that's about and trying really hard not to self-diagnose myself. That's another thing that is difficult, honestly, at this point. I just, I don't know. I've just been overwhelmed with everything, if that makes sense, but... I'm really motivated and excited to get the professional help that I need and Andrew's mom actually has been like a huge help for me. She is an angel from above and I don't know what I would do without her <laughs> but she actually like called around for me and got me in with a psychologist and stuff because I feel like that was part of it. Like I was so anxious that I couldn't even make the call to set up an appointment with a psychologist. I'm meeting with her in a few weeks. It took me a bit to get scheduled and it's like a few weeks out, but regardless, I'm just excited that we got it figured out. Mental health is like a huge part of everything else stems from that. So like if you're going to the gym every day, sure, that might be great, but if you don't have a good mindset, then, like, you could actually do damage to yourself, if that makes sense. Like, if, if your intentions aren't in the right spot, then there's no point in going to the gym because you're just going to beat yourself up. And that's something that, like, I've taken a very long time to realize, like, when I was my healthiest or going to the gym or my fittest mentally I was like kind of destroying myself because I felt like I still wasn't doing enough like I would go to the gym like for an hour every day but the entire time I was comparing myself to other girls there I was thinking well, what I'm doing isn't enough uh I ate too much today so and just like all these negative thoughts which are just very destructive and 
it's really easy to fake it. It's really easy to like make everyone see that you're going to the gym and eating healthy and everything, but like hide what you're really feeling inside and that's not what I want to do. Disclaimer, I'm not an expert in any of this, but I do know more than anything that mental health stems literally everything and if you don't have a good mindset and you, if you don't have good intentions for yourself then none of your goals will be achieved and if they are then you'll feel like shit about it because you know you had negative thoughts the whole time. I just wanted to talk about that and then Andrew and I are going to the gym later and I wanted to video it and just kind of go over like an example of a workout that we do together. Andrew is like really smart when it comes to the gym and so I pretty much just go and like have him tell me what to do. But it's been really fun and something that we can do together so I wanted to tag you guys along and kind of just show you what we do. <laughs> the ambiance of Starbucks and this song. That's about to destroy the lattes. <laughs> Milk. Wet. Grande soy cappuccino extra wet. Extra? Thanks for choosing Starbucks. How are you doing today? I'm pretty good. How are you? Good. Can I get inside for you? Hi, yeah. Can I get a grande soy cappuccino extra wet, please? I'm sorry. You said a soy frappuccino? Uh, like a cappuccino, but with soy milk. Oh, soy cappuccino? Yeah, and can I get that just extra wet, please? Oh, extra wet. I thought you kept saying whip. And I'm oh, like, sorry. Oh, go on there. <laughs> okay, perfect. I got it for you at the window. On. Awesome. And then I'm actually going to get one more if that's all right. Oh, perfect. Yeah, we're going to get for you. Um, can I just get a regular hot latte and a grande, please? That will be all. Okay, I'll see you at the window. Thank you so much. Thank you. I hate that it was echoing and I could hear my own voice. <laughs> I know! Why was it echoing? What? Getting a close-up of the bags under my eyes. Oh. Wow, I'm pretty. How much caffeine has, have I had today? That's not it. enough. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> We're gonna warm up with some face pulse to uh, warm up our rear delts and then we're gonna do some lateral raises with the cable to warm up the lateral head of our shoulders and then we'll probably do some overhead press from there. And then I'll figure it out as we go. That'll be a good Sounds start. Sounds good. I mean, if it's a better stretch to do it that way, then I'll just do it sitting down too. Yeah, it probably is. Supersetted with the pushes, kind of warm up our chest and our front of our shoulders. So we're gonna drop this down and superset some lateral raises on the cable, and then come over here and do like a like a cable press, pretty lightweight, high reps, just to get the blood pumping in our shoulders and chest. And then I'll go to something a little heavier. <laughs> Standing barbell overhead press, 
And then once we're done with that, we're gonna go over to the dumbbells and we're gonna do like an incline dumbbell press. Forward, we're going to be doing some incline dumbbell press for like our upper chest and a little bit of our shoulders and then we're just going to superset it with some more lateral raises but just with the dumbbells over here. Pretty lightweight. Um, probably get something for the press, something you could do like 8 to 12 and then something for the lateral raises you think you could do like 20 reps. <laughs> chest exercise we're gonna do the we're gonna do standing one arm one arm dumbbell presses mm -hmm. so you're gonna do it's kind of the same as the overhead with the double except when you do one arm at a time it engages your core a lot more so that'll be good and then after we do that we're gonna just do some dips with the bench for like our we're going to superset that with some cable flies, and we'll be good. yesterday's or the other days a little better though but we definitely had more energy yeah that's a good thing we even just came and did anything i yeah. think so crushed it okay time to pack my lunch for tomorrow from my little bento box that i bought at target because i'm a whore for target an absolute slut for the target. My lunch is basically just like a combination of like fruits and vegetables because since I have a desk job, I'm sitting down all day so I just don't get hungry. Oh, hi. Hello. Say hello to the vlog. The vlog. Hi. Hi. You're doing a cooking show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm packing my lunch. I just bought more green grapes. Oh. <laughs> These are the ones that are kind of squishy. Oh, green Should we beans. test right now and see if they're squishy? Yeah. Mini cucumbers. Literally the best. Busta and Tatiana. <laughs> just the essentials. It's left literally the size of your head. Grapefruit. Damn. Okay. What'd you get? Trolley bites? Wormy germs. Wormy germs? Mm -hmm. Some grapefruit. 
as crunchy as last time, but they're not as much as the time before that I got them. Oh, really? Okay. I promise I will show my concoction. Just focused. I was gonna add cheese, but I don't think I am. Okay. This is what we're working with. We got grapes, baby carrots, cherry tomatoes, and mini cucumbers. Perfect. I was gonna pack a can of tuna, but I didn't want to be that bitch at the office who breaks open a can of tuna to eat. I've been that bitch literally <laughs> so many times. Just stinks up the entire building. <laughs> yeah. I'm breaking open the tuna. Mm -hmm.